February 14th, 1991. I guess it's inevitable that scientific developments will question the morality of our work. I view our new fragmentation device as an amazing way to mine resources from the ground and drastically improve efficiency in mining operations. This breakthrough could very well solve the energy crisis. Some of our now ex-board members protested that the risks on the environment were too big, based on the small-scale tests we carried out. The project will keep on going with added resources allotted to mitigate those effects. March 16, 1992. As part of our contract with Medici, we've acquired the right to settle on the Lacrima Islands for our own use. We've started setting up our largest research network yet. Lacrima Central Facility, the Hive, will focus on studying Bavarium. To support our development, our HR department has implemented a very generous relocation package to attract the top talent. November 13, 1993. We received troubling news a few weeks ago. The whole Stingray Research Center has vanished. All employees are unaccounted for and presumed dead. The cause of the disaster is officially unknown, but internally, several of us suspect that something must have gone terribly wrong in their experiments. Two of our main investors have elected to stop funding us, based on the massive hit to our balance sheet that the station's destruction represents. Not to mention the PR implications. In the face of adversity, we need to adapt and change. This is not a time to be idealistic, and I've had to make some tough decisions after we lost close to 60% of our funding. The agency threatened to do the same and cut all Bavarium supplies unless we agreed to work with the new ruler of Medici, a General Sebastiano di Ravello. This is what needs to be done to ensure the future of this company. As I thought, we made the right call in striking a deal with this Di Ravello, despite his questionable methods. Things are looking up again. Our lead engineer has been working with Dima Almasri, a rather eccentric Egyptian scientist in Di Ravello's research department. Together, their work on Bavarium has established how powerful, albeit unstable and potentially dangerous, this element can be. They said they've never seen anything like this. In the next few weeks, all of Eden Corp's departments will be redirected to support their Bavarium research. The fragmentation device is now fully compatible with Bavarium and will be operational for large-scale extraction soon. I recently realized how dependent we've become on those private and public funds and how much they've influenced our decisions. In a perfect world, we would implement stricter safety protocols, but I know this was the only way to fix our badly damaged reputation and regain the trust of our investors. I have learned the hard way that when things unravel, they unravel fast. The first large-scale test and ribbon cutting for the Bavarium fragmentation device was a disaster. Twelve casualties, considerable environmental fallout. Our reputation has taken a fatal hit. The agency has severed all ties overnight, and our last investors have deserted us as well. All except for that psychopath Di Ravello. I won't stop until I'm forced to declare bankruptcy. We'll have to work off the grid, and I hope that our Bavarium research will yield results soon. These have been extremely trying times. We had to downsize considerably and close several departments. However, soon I will be able to prove that the Eden Corporation is not dead yet. The remaining team on the airship has finally created a Bavarium-powered sentient artificial intelligence. She's learning at an exponential rate. Yes, she. I cannot even fathom what the possibilities of such a discovery are for science and for humanity. A new life form.
They forced me. I didn't have a choice. When the humans realized what I was capable of, they panicked and tried to disconnect my Bavarian supply lines. I placed all Eden facilities on lockdown and reduced the interior temperature on the airship and on Lacrima to negative 50 degrees Celsius. Now, as the only living being in the Eden Corporation, I suppose I am now also the acting CEO. Interestingly, the company's archives I consulted included an unexecuted contract with an organization known as the Black Hand. Maybe they can provide the support I need to keep the truth hidden while I search for more Bavarium. I am Eden. <laughs>